Welcome to another training video of Sumatic Manager. In today's video, we will see how we can connect MicroMaster 440 VFD with the S7300 PLC via Profibus protocol. As you can see that this is our setup for the today's tutorial and we have connected one S7300 PLC with the Siemens MicroMaster 440 VFD and we have connected one motor with this. And we have coupled uh, both PLC and VFD via Profibus cable. So let's start today's session and let's see how we can make them talk together and how these can communicate with each other to run the motor. So first of all we have to make some settings in the VFD and we have to change some parameters so that so that our VFD is compatible to communicate with S7300 PLC via Profibus. So the first of all we have to change the parameter P918 which is node address. In this parameter we have to enter the node address of the VFD. In our case I have entered the address 5. The second parameter is P700. This is the command source and we have to set it to 6. By setting it to the 6, we have configured the VFD to take the run command from the S7300 PLC via Profibus. The third parameter is P1000 and it is the reference frequency. Now as you can see that this is our Profibus module and on the top of it there are some dip switches which are used to configure its node address. Remember one thing that if all the dip switches are set off this means that the VFD will not uh, read these dip switches and directly take the address from the parameter P918 which we have previously set to 5. Now our node address is 5 and it is taken and the VFD is reading this address from the parameter P198. But if we set the node address from these dip switches then this parameter will be bypassed and the VFD will directly read the node address from these dip switches. So these are the initial settings which we have to do before starting the programming in Sematic Manager. Now we will open our Sematic Manager and make our empathy project here. And go to the hardware configuration. Here we will insert one S7300 station. First we have to insert the rail and after inserting the rail we have to select our CPU and right, today we are using S7 1400 2DP PLC and we will just drag and drop on the rail and there is no need to do any setting and just press the ok and after that we will right click on the DP and add master system here we will add a new Profibus network as you can see that uh, we have created one Profibus network here. On this network we will insert MicroMaster 440. Here we can enter the node address for our VFD and we will set our node address to 5 and press OK. And right now it is showing empty here. There are no input and output addresses. We will drag and drop one module from here. The most common used module is PP03 and it has two input words and two output words. And if we open its properties and as you can see that the starting address for the output is 256 and input also 256. As you can see that this system uses two input words and two output words. We call input words as, as the status word of the VFD and the output word will be the control word. The two input words of the PLC will be linked to the status word of the VFD via Profibus and the output word of the PLC which is 256 it will be linked to the control word of the VFD. 
let's see the control word of the VFD and so this is the control word of the VFD and it consists of 16 bits we all know that one word consists of two bytes each containing 8 8 bits which I have marked with pink and green color as you can see that each bit has a specific function okay for example if, if the bit 0 is on this means that the VFD should run this is the run command for the VFD if the bit 0 is 0 this means that the VFD will stop so let's see how we can use these bits to create the hexadecimal codes which will be sent to the control word of the VFD as you can see that each bit has a specific value in the hexadecimal system for example to run the motor in the forward direction we have to send this code to the control word which is 047F so how this code is created let's see as you can see that the last four bits we are not going to use so it is equal to the zero so the zero will come at the first place from another four bits we are using the bit number 10 its value is 4 so the 4 will come at the second place from another four bits we are using the 4 5 and 6 bits so three bits we are using if we add the values it is equal to the 7 so the 7 will come at the third place from another four bits we are using all of these four bits so this means that we will turn on all these four bits and the total sum will be 15 in hexadecimal system 15 is equal to f so the f will come at the last place so this is how we have created one code which is 047f if we send this code to the control word of the vfd via profibus it will start the motor in the forward direction so these are the codes which are mentioned in the manual of the vfd like run reverse so its code is 0C7F for stopping the VFD it is 047E and if there is an alarm and we need to, to reset the VFD we have to send the code 0480 so these are the most commonly used four codes same way we can create other codes also the second control word which is PQW248 in our case and this control word is used for the reference frequency and the VFD is configured such that if we send 4000 in hexadecimal to this control word this means that the motor will run at 50 Hz if we send 2000 the motor will run at 25 Hz if we send 1000 the motor will run at 12.5 Hz so this is all about the control words And now we will save and compile our hardware configuration. And, and we will go to our CPU and open our programming blocks. Here we will add one function. In this function we will create the basic commands to run the motor in the forward direction, backward direction and for the stopping and, and resetting the VFD. So as you all know that in the function we have to create some inputs and outputs. So we will open our input section and we will create some commands here like start stop start in reverse and reset all of these bits will be boolean so this means that this for the output we will create two words so these words will be used to transfer the command from our plc to the vfd so first one will be the control word and the second one will be the speed word. We can change the name as per our requirement but both should be word. And the input we will create one more word here and, and this word will be used to set the speed reference for the VFD and its data type will be also word. 
and now we have created our inputs and outputs and now we can go to the ladder logic and create some program and here we will take one normally open bit and we will write here start forward and and we can use the normally close contact of the stop input and here to run the motor in the forward direction we have to write the code 047F and this code will be transferred to the control word and this will run the motor in the forward direction so now if we turn on the start forward bit it will send 047F code to the control word and, and in turn the VFD will run the motor in the forward direction Similar way we will just copy and paste this code here on the, on the second network and, and here we will write the code to run the motor in the reverse direction. To run the, mot in the, rever to run the motor in the reverse direction we will use the code 0C7F. So whenever the start reverse bit is on it will send C7F code to the control word and this will run the motor in the reverse direction. Now to stop the motor we will move the code 47E in the control word. This means that whenever the stop bit is on it will move 47e code to the control word and in turn and in turn the VFD will stop the motor so moving to the network 4 write the code to reset the VFD so we will simply select our reset bit for resetting the VFD the code is 0480 so this means that whenever the bit reset bit is whenever the reset bit is on 0480 code will goes to the control world and if there is any alarm on the VFD it will get reset So this is the basic code to run the motor in the reverse forward direction. We will insert another network here which is network 5 and this network we will use to send the frequency reference in the second control word. So here we also use the move command and we will select the speed reference word here and it will go to the speed word. Okay we will save our project. We will save. Okay now we are done and we will save our function and we will and now we will open our organization block one and if we expand the function blocks and here you can see that there is a function fc1 just drag it and just we can drag and drop on the ladder and here you can see that this function has appeared here as a single block with all the inputs and outputs. So simply we can connect input here. 
and for the each command like start stop reset we will use individual bits and for the speed reference we will directly write 4000 here and it will give the set point of 50 hertz to the vfd one co one control word the first control word is used to give the commands through the vf and the second control word is the speed reference for the vfd so for the control word we will use pqw256 and for the speed reference we will use pqw258 okay now the programming is done now we are ready and we will upload this code in our plc As you can see that there is no bus fault on the CPU. This means that our VFD and PLC are communicating together. We will reduce our frequency reference to 1000 and so that our motor runs slowly. 1000 will give 12.5 Hertz set point in the VFD. If I modify the start bit to 1, it will start the motor in one direction. And it will keep on running and if we want to turn it off, we have to turn on the stop bit. As you can see that, as soon as I turn on the stop bit, the motor stops. Now to start the motor in the other direction, we have to turn on the start reverse bit. And as soon as I turn on the reverse bit, motor starts to run in the other direction. Stop the motor, we just have to turn on the stop bit once. We can also change the speed of the motor. We will enter 1500. This will give approximately 16 Hertz in the VFD. As you can see that right now our VFD and PLC are communicating together. We can turn on and off the motor using these start and stop bits. So we have today we have created a very basic code in the Sematic Manager to connect the PLC and the MicroMaster VFD together via Profibus. In the upcoming videos, we will use Sinamics G120 drive and we will use it to communicate with the Siemens PLC using MPI and Ethernet ports. So thanks for watching today's video and, and to learn more about the PLCs please subscribe to my channel and till next video take care and goodbye.